this is Adam again. Thank you for stopping by the channel today. I do hope all you had a chipper and blessed day. Today we're doing episode number 86 for the TTM series. We'll jump into these two weeks worth very shortly. But first, let's give away this Burt Campanaris autograph. Good luck, everybody. Keep in mind, the key phrase was hashtag camp. And I got those already preloaded up on the random comment picker here. Got 23 entries, it looks like. So good luck, everybody. And boom, let's see who won. Congrats, Zach D. Adubra. I'm not sure exactly how you maybe pronounce all that, but he did get the hashtag camp in. I'm new to the channel and I really enjoy it so far. So congrats, appreciate you coming by. And hopefully you'll keep coming back. Stay tuned to see what the giveaway is on this episode as well. It'll come a little bit later. But let's go ahead and jump into these two weeks worth. First week. May the 6th through the 11th, there are the stats for that week. And the dreaded one RTS is going to be for Mr. Randy Lurch. That's the address I sent it to, my peeps. If y'all know anything, please do let me know. I would love to get his autograph if plausible. All right. The first uh, success was Mr. Tim Nary, 202 5 and 9, free of charge. And if I sound a little nasally, my apologies. I got a little sinuses going on so uh, so far today, it looks like. But I do have this beautiful 91 tops and 91 Fleer of the Red Sox shortstop, Mr. Tim Nairing. So, boom. Love love getting a new autograph, and that's a new one I don't think I've ever gotten before. All right, so the next return is Mr. Jim Clancy, 404, free of charge. I have gotten him a few times over the years, and even one when he was in the Braves uniform. We've got the 91 upper deck, the 78 tops, and then the 81 tops, and I got a a duplicate boom let's go all right this next return is going to be i sent two but he's now a one per uh sit there and when i sent him out i seen a couple of people getting the back and i sit there and uh seeing that they said he was a one per i said shoot I, I accidentally sent out two i didn't know i sent two, two to him previously and he would sign both so evidently he is now a one per so i got him on the beautiful vintage Tops football card from uh, 73. So, bam. All right. This next return is going to be a Hall of Famer. And I got tons and tons of Hall of Famers in this uh, two weeks worth and quite a bit of rookie cards as well. This is probably one of my favorite episodes I'm ever going to do with the new Hall of Famer that I to my collection, which would be Cliff Hagen. Not 201. He sent his own custom card as well. Fan favorites autographed custom card that he autographed for me. So, bam. And then I sent this beauty out. Love this uh, vintage vibe, uh, heritage kind of design. And I uh, bought that up when I seen a couple people getting him back and said, huh, I've never gotten Mr. Hagen's autograph before. Let me do that. I noticed they sent uh, those other people bonuses as well. So, I said, cool. Definitely would like to do that. Now, I have sent to Boggs before. But he's a $10 per Hall of Famer, 101. I think this is a second year card. Yep, a second year on the Donruss there. I wanted to get that. I'm trying to complete some playing day runs of him, at least for his first, you know, 10 years or so in the major leagues. All right. Next return is going to be Mr. Raleigh Fingers, $15 per Hall of Famer, 2 of 2. And boom, I just love these cards that look like they were made for autographs. To go ahead and get an autograph put on it. That's just a cool card. Love that one. Glad I got it autographed. And of course, I am going for his base playing day runs from the tops set. So I will be getting uh, that, uh, trying to get it completed slowly but surely. Next return is going to be a Hall of Fame rookie card. I mentioned that a while ago. He is $5 per. And got another one of his autographs on his rookie card signed. So boom. As usual, please let me know down in the description of the, or in the comments of this video which was your favorite autograph of this episode and maybe which was your favorite uh, player to watch. Just always love getting the interactions. I know we got some hockey people, baseball, football, basketball, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So here's like a really cool football one, Mr. Cliff Harris, one of the best defensive players of all time. And he actually sent me a custom card this time. This was not a card that I sent him. He sent this back in return, so I thought that was pretty cool. And I did send these two beauties out, though. 
and got him back. Bam. So I know a few people, like Michael Myers is a big uh, Cliff Harris fan, if I'm not mistaken. I think he likes the Cowboys. So, boom. Here's my 286 tops, both by the same guy, Carlton Fisk. He is hefty with his fee. think it might be a foundation thing or whatnot. But I did want to start going after some more of these 86 tops, and I picked up both of the uh, Carlton Visk ones all in one fell swoop. Got them on his all-star and the base. And those do look beautiful with his autograph on it. So very thankful to add those to my collection. Plan on sending him his rookie card out probably fairly soon to see if I can't get that bad boy autograph. So that is week uh, one of this uh, two-week episode. So let's go ahead and get into this this one. There's the stats for the second week. And the, the dreaded unsuccessful was Mr. Nate Moore. I uh, sent to him previously free of charge. Maybe he is starting to charge now or one per. If you send more, he don't, I don't know. If anybody has any intel on Mr. Nate Moore, I would love to maybe get his uh, autographs. So if he's charging, I'd love to know what his fee is now. And uh, hopefully I can get those uh, signed. Next return is going to be a Razorback quarterback legend here in Arkansas. Free of charge, Mr. Joe Ferguson, 4-4. Four four. Oops, it looks like I got two of them there together. And bam, I got them on some beautiful vintage football. Love, love, love that. I know some Buffalo Bill fans will like that return as well. And the next one is going to be a Bears player, Mr. Brian Bash, Bash Angel or something like that. Not exactly sure how you pronounce that, but it's 3-3. Three three. And bam, got the wide receiver. Looks like he also was a uh, quote, quote, uh, holder of the football for the kicker as well during the uh, uh, field goal kicks. So, boom. There we go. Mr. Pat Underwood, $2 per, 3 of 3. And let's see which three we got. Oh, he's a Detroit Tigers fan. I know a couple of Tigers fans that would like this autograph. Miss Lisa Z and uh, Sticks G. I know there's a couple of other Tiger fans out there. I'm just drawing a blank on you. My apologies. So I got this Mike Tyson. It's not the Mike Tyson. It's the pitcher Mike Tyson that played for the Cardinals. And I think the Cubs. Yeah, here's the Cubs. And then the Cardinals. So boom. Like that autograph. Nice and simple. All right, next return is going to be another Cubby. Manny Trillio. Looks like he also played for the Phillies. And there's the Cubbies uniform. Bam, bam, and bam. All right, next return is going to be Mr. Gary Sutherland. Two of two. Free of charge. Got him on the 73 and 75 tops. So I'm digging that. Another Tigers card and an Astros card. All right. Next return is Mr. Stan Banson. Free of charge. For the Expos. He's uh, free of charge one per. Or he charges, I think, three for ten or something like that. Can't remember the exact, but he is a fee if you send more than one. Mr. Dick Billings, free of charge, 4-2. Got him on the 74 and the 73 tops, and he signed two index cards for me. And then also my note there. All right, 3 of 3, Mr. Joe Oliver, free of charge. And boom, got him on a 90 score, 90 tops, and a 91 flare. Next return is going to be Mr. Scott Kubal, free of charge, 3 of 4. Got him on the 90 Donruss. Shout out to Brandon Stevens. Then the uh, 90 Bowman. Then the 90 Upper Deck. And did not sign my 91 tops. Not sure about that. But uh, possibly we'll get that back out in the mail later on. Next return is going to be Mr. Skip Lockwood before we get into the Hall of Famers. See the little Hall of Fame right there. But it's free of charge, 4-4, Mr. Skip Lockwood. He was a pitcher. I was about to say the Mets, and boom. Looks like also the Red Sox. And boom. Loving, loving those. I wear glasses, too, so it's pretty cool to see, you know, baseball players with the glasses on. All right, first return. That is the Hall of Famer for this week. That'll be Mr. Fergie Jenkins. He is $25 per and at least I sent 25. I think 
he sent a note saying uh, he's raised his fee up to 40 bucks now and he'll put the hall of fame inscription on it as well it used to be 25 bucks and then he would charge 15 dollars for an inscription so i think he he will still do the 25 dollars. he just doesn't do, add the inscription that he quote quote says it's free of charge if uh you send the 40. so mr warren moon is my next one he is ten dollars per hall of famer warren moon love to watch that man play quarterback i always secretly rooted uh you know, for that team to succeed, even though I'm a Bears fan. So, all right. Another Hall of Fame rookie card added to my PC. $5 per. Uh, he is free of charge, but if you want him to inscribe the Hall of Fame inscription, he's $5 per on that. Two or two. And bam, I got his rookie card signed. Digging that. Finally added the rookie card to the collection of Mr. Dan Fout. So, digging that. All right, next one is another Hall of Fame rookie card I added, Tom Mack. And I sent $5 for each card, and he sent five back and only kept five. So, evidently, he just wanted five. I guess to maybe add the both Hall of Fame inscriptions. But typically, I know he'll sign for free as well. And uh, boom, I got him on the rookie card and that beauty as well. Digging those autographs right there. All right. The next one is another hockey player. Got two hockey returns in the same episode. Let's go. Sent five and he returned it. So, Mr. Bill Barber is definitely free of charge. He will not take your money. Got him on his rookie card and bam, digging that. Digging that. I know I got a couple of Flyer fans that uh, watches the channel. So, I'm thinking that they would dig that very much so. All right. Larry Walker, $25 per. A couple of Hall of Fame rookie cards. Let's go. Got him on the tops and the upper deck. Dig at that. I got one of those soaring stars. I think like a little Fleer subset or something like that. That just the card looks really cool. I think I'm going to send that back out uh, in the on the next uh, run for when I do Larry Walker the next time. and Get that thing autographed. I think that would be looking really cool because I already got the Donruss and get that I'll have a really cool rookie card run of Larry Walker alright last but not least and this is definitely going to be my favorite autograph of the episode for me is Mr. Orlando Cepeda $20 per Hall of Fame rookie card uh, I said two I could not find records of uh, me sending these two cards together so, I'm not sure what happened, whether I sent one a long time ago or one a while back, or if I actually snatched up this rookie card or this card and just added it together and just didn't take the correct photo of it or something other. My record does not show me, though, sending these two together is a crazy thing. But then when I saw this beautiful rookie card, I had to look, try to research my stats and say, man, I don't remember picking that up. Or I, I know I've been trying to pick one up, but... Maybe I did someone and just forgot, but I got two beautiful cards there of Mr. Orlando Cepeda, including his Ricky card. So I got his slabbed up Ricky card graded. Now I got the autograph Ricky card, which is what I'm trying to do with most of these guys. So that is too cool for school. This is my favorite autograph of the episode. Favorite player to watch. Uh, let's go. I've went Warren Moon several times before. I like watching Larry Walker play. So let's go with Larry Walker as my favorite player to watch play. Let me know what you think, though, down in the comments. But I do appreciate everybody stopping by today, watching this. Please take care. Stay chipper. And, uh, oh, I forgot to do the giveaway announcement for this episode. So no one claimed this or the winner of this Bobby Allison, which is a Hall of Fame NASCAR driver, did not claim his prize. It's been, a, I want to say, two weeks to a month. And he's had plenty of opportunity to reach out, and he has not done so. So if you'd like to win a Hall of Fame autograph, uh, uh, yeah, Hall of Fame autograph, please put in hashtag Bobby, because this is Bobby Allison, Hall of Fame NASCAR driver. So there we go. Please take care. Stay chipper. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.